you, Lord. There is no one else like you. Now to turn around. There is no one else like you. So today, Father, we just come to magnify you. So today, as I was... with him at the wedding also and and what happened is his mother there was the the the, the, the wine run out you know how we go when mm -hmm. we get to the party we drink all the rum first so the wine run out and when the wine run out his mother came to him and his mother said hey jesus the wine run out and then you know jesus came to him and say woman it's not my time and basically what he was saying to his mother is well, mommy, you know, it ain't my time for signs and wonders and miracles. It ain't my time yet. I ain't get released yet. But his mother, knowing who he is and who Jesus was and where he came from, she said she just turned around. She did not, you know, um, go by his response. Because in other words, he was saying to her, no, you know, let, let me just leave me alone. But she didn't take his response. She turned around and she said, you know what? She spoke to the servant. She said, listen here, whatever he tell you to do, do it. Amen. Whatever he tell you to do, do it. And this is the part of the scripture that I really, really, really love. And like I was saying to the followers on Facebook a little while ago, there's two things that really stuck out to me uh, when she uh, 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 when she spoke to Jesus. First, the first thing that I want to uh, uh, bring to your attention is when she turned around and she spoke to Jesus, what she did is she did that by faith. Amen. And what she did is she saw something in him that uh, uh, needed to be pulled out. Amen. Because a lot of times we will be surrounded by people or we will have gifts and we will have talents and we will have things on the inside of us that we don't even know we possess. Amen. That we don't even know we possess. We may be good at certain things or you may be cooking for your family and you uh, and your family constantly telling you, man, you know, you could cook, you know, you could open up a restaurant or, you know, sell food. But you always like, yeah, 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 it ain't, yeah, not now. But but what, you, what, what Mary saw in Jesus is something that was already on the inside of him. And what she did when she uh, uh, said by faith, go ahead and do what he tell you to do is she activated something on the inside of him. When she did that by faith is uh, uh, she activated the gift that was already laying dormant on the inside of him. So what she did is when she said go and do what he tell you to do, she wake that thing up. Amen. She acknowledged the gift that was already on the inside of him. And then the second thing is uh, uh, that I want to point out to you is she did not uh, go by what he said. If she had taken no for a response, there was going up no more room at the party. You know what I mean? So if she had taken no for an answer, it wouldn't have been a party anymore. So what she did is she turned around, although she knew, she, she knew what her son said, she turned around to the servant and she said, whatever he said to do, go ahead and do it. That let me know or that helped me to understand that uh, uh, by faith now, uh, uh, what she said is she wake up something on him. She realized the purpose. She realized the gift. She realized that there's signs and miracles to be um, that will follow him and she wake up something on the inside of him. And and what is so profound here is uh, she turned around to people that did not know Jesus. My God, come on, I'm getting somewhere. She turned around and she spoke to people who did not know him. And she turned around and she said, guess what, whatever he tells you to do, go ahead and do it. And for so much of us, we are in positions where uh, uh, we are good at certain things, but yet not yet to our full potential as yet. But I want you to understand today that God is speaking to some people concerning you in this season that will bless you. And, my, and guess what, it will be people that are strangers to, the, to you. It will be people that you do not know. You may be expecting your blessing to come from your family. You may be expecting your blessing to come from your friends. You may be expecting your thing to come from somebody who promised you one little thing you may be from uh, expecting something to come from somebody who you know but in this season what god is about to do is he is about to speak to the heirs or some people who don't know you in this season he is about to tell them guess what when i tell you to do it go ahead and do what i tell you to do concerning my daughter concerning my son concerning my servant so this is the truth that is the two things that really captured uh, my attention in this uh, scripture the mere fact that she did 
did not take the uh, uh, response no she did not take the response that jesus gave to her and walk away but in fact she turned around she spoke to strangers who don't know him and she said listen whatever he said to do go ahead and do it so in this season god is about to touch the hearts of strangers he is about to, 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 to speak to some people in their dreams he is about to speak to some persons through visions he is about to speak to some people strangers all the way across on the other side of the world who don't even know you to be a blessing to you amen he is going to cause people to benefit you and bless you that don't have no strings attached that ain't asking you for anything all they are waiting to do is waiting for your instructions amen they are going to show up just the mere fact that god spoke to them and tell them listen when i tell you to do it go ahead and do it they are going to show up and guess what here this is the time when you give them the instruction amen guess what uh uh uh, uh the little widow she, she and her son, she was about to die. And this is one little bit of um, flower she have left. And she said, you know, guess what? I'm going to make this. We're going to, um, I'm going to make this little cake here. Me and my son, we can eat this and ain't nothing else. It's just like exactly. us who, when we have one little last noodles in the cupboard or we have one little can it's of corned beef left right and we have one little bag of rice or we Put borrow a cup of rice from the neighbor and we say, guess what? This is it. And that's Put it. it I know where the next dollar coming from. I don't know where it's coming from. And we, we, we worried, we're concerned. We're trying to figure out where is it coming from. And this one woman now in this bible she said this is my last i don't know what me and my son can do after this we probably can just lay down in the house and die but the prophet elijah came to her and said guess what uh, uh what do you have and she said guess what i only have a little bit of flour that i'm about to go and make a cake for me and my son and after that we will lay down and we will die but the prophet said to her and all oh, behemians we ain't gonna do this now we ain't gonna do this somebody come to me with my last noodle and tell me to give them my last pack of noodles and I got two turns at home that need to eat. The devil is a liar. So the prophet said to her, guess what? Go and bake me a cake first. Come on, that ain't make no sense, eh? That ain't make no sense. Because how in the world I telling you I going to bake one little piece of cake for me and my son. And then we can die. But you telling me to bake you a cake first. So, 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 so he said, go and bake me a cake. And guess, watch this now. The woman goes and she bakes the cake. My God, she followed the instruction of the prophet. She went and she followed the instructions of the prophet. My God, in this season, your obedience to God, your obedience to his word is very important. Listen here. Some of us, we need to listen when God speaks. Some of us, we need to have our ear pinned to the heart of God. We need to have our ear pinned to the mouth of God. So when he gives us an instruction, so when he begins to speak to us, we can go ahead and do exactly what he says to do because our obedience, the blessing will come from our obedience. Amen. So what happened is she went and she did exactly what the prophet told her to do. And guess what? That, uh, that activated the oil and the oil began to flow and the oil did not not stop flowing until she 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 um, um um until all of her buckets all of her vessels was full and, and and she was able to go and sell and have a profit in order for her and her son to uh, uh, uh live off of amen and they was able to pay off their debt they was able to live off the oil what am i saying today i'm saying that uh based on your obedience based on the instruction that you receive and you follow it guess what the servants they receive an instruction and they followed the instruction and the instruction left for uh, overflow amen they had wine until there was surplus amen the woman the, the widow she had oil until there was surplus so today i just want to encourage you in your spirit whether you're on facebook whether you are here on the beach today i want to encourage you that in this season god is about to speak to strangers to bless you not only is he about to speak to strangers to bless you he is about to give you a overflow amen he is going to give you so much until you do not have room to contain amen you're going to have a surplus you're going to have overflow in this season even when everybody else seems to be going through a farming situation you're going to be in a situation where you are in a surplus amen so i just wanted to share that with you today just to encourage you in your spirit today right before we go into prayer that god is about to do it amen he is about to do it he is about to speak to a stranger to bless you he is about to speak to somebody who you don't even know to bless you in this season so i want to give god praise for what he has done what what he is doing and what he will continue to do in our lives amen so let us go into prayer um let us go into prayer let us acknowledge our father come on let us acknowledge our father as we go into prayer amen let us go into prayer father we give you thanks father we give you glory father we give you the honor and we give you the praise today we're going to do things just a little bit different everybody going to pray 
<laughs> everybody gonna pray so everybody's gonna take a chance and we're going to pray it doesn't have to be a long prayer but whatever it is let's position ourselves amen let us position ourselves for prayer and 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 and, and, and prepare yourself prepare your heart whatever it is that your desire is today go ahead and bring it before the lord you don't have to say it out loud what you want the lord to do for you but go ahead and give him thanks uh, before he does it, go ahead and thank him before he do it. So go ahead, let's begin to worship, let's begin to give God praise, and then we can go into prayer uh, individually. It don't have to, like I say, it don't have to be no long prayer. Just go ahead and say, even if it's just thank you, Jesus, I don't care. But you have to open your mouth and give God praise for what he is about to do for you. Amen. Because as I'm speaking to you, he said to tell them to ask me for what they want. Amen. And I will give them their heart's desire. But first of all, your will got to be lined up with God's will. Amen. So let us go into prayer. Amen. Let us go into prayer. Uh, let us go into prayer. If you want to start, you want to pray? Yeah, you, you can pray. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pray. You're going to pray? Everybody's going to pray. Go ahead, you can pray first. Let us hold hands. Come here. Huh? Yeah, you're going to pray. Go ahead. Pray. Hallelujah. Go ahead, honey. You, you can pray a little loud. You don't have to be extra loud, but, you know, just look loud. Go ahead. You can do it. Just. I know. Hallelujah, that was awesome. Go ahead, Abraham. Bow your head, close your eyes. I'm not playing with you. Go ahead and pray. No, go ahead and pray. Close your eyes, just like how you spray home. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ab. Come on, you ain't going to pray? Go ahead and pray, honey. Lord, I thank you, Hallelujah. Lord, I, I wish that you would keep all of us in the blood in the blood of, yes. of, of your life. And I wish that you would keep all, all of us safe when we are going home or when we are going to school or when we are going to work or are we going anywhere or are we going to pray. Oh, that, thank you, Lord, for yes. putting, putting clothes on our, on our foot, put, um, putting clothes on putting shoes on our feet, putting clothes on our bodies and everything else in Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Close your eyes. Pray. Go ahead. This can be long. Go ahead, pray. Tell me. Okay, Jesus and everlasting Father, as we come before you this morning, we ask for our forgiveness for all of our sins and thoughts were deeds or idea. We ask that you will cleanse us and purify us of everything that is not of you. We thank you for waking us up this morning and allowing us to see another day. We thank you for protecting us and covering us throughout the day. We thank you for protecting us from all sickness and diseases. And thank you for bringing us to chest safely. But I ask that as we go, as we leave from here, you cover us and protect each and every one of us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Are you ready? No. Go ahead. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you today, Lord yes, Jesus, Jesus. Just thanking you for everything that you've yes, done and Lord. everything that you're about to do in our life, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, Lord, I pray that you would keep us protected from the crown of our head to the soles yes, of our feet, Lord. Lord Jesus. Lord, every demonic spirit that you have sent against us, Lord Jesus, Lord, I pray yes. that it goes back to the pits of hell of which it came from, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray for the spirit of backbiting, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray that you would yes. take that away from the people, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would keep me covered, Lord Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Lord, I know the enemy is trying, but he shall not win in my yes, life, Lord Yes, he shall Jesus. fail in the name of Jesus. Lord, I bring my kids to pray today, Lord Thank Jesus. You, Lord. Lord, I pray that you would keep them covered, Lord yes, Jesus. Yes, Father. Lord, open up their hearts and their minds to accept you and only yes, you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, I bring my husband before you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray that you cover him from the crown yes, of his head to the soul of his feet, yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, I thank you. For so just being you, Lord Jesus, Lord, I worship you yes, because God. of who you I are, Lord you Jesus. Today, God. Yeah, Lord, I just Hallelujah. thank you for everything you're about to do in my life. Yes, in Jesus. Jesus. Name, Hallelujah. Father, we worship you. Hallelujah. Go ahead.
Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we magnify you today, Lord God. We ask today, Father God, that as we gather before you, O oh God, that you begin to move in our presence like never yet before. You said in your word, O oh God, that wherever two or three are gathered in your name, you are there in the midst, O oh God. So we say today, Father God, by your spirit, enter this place today, Father God. By your spirit, Father God, we say, as you did, Father God, with Moses, as you appeared um, to Moses as a burning bush, Father God. We say, appear to us today, Father, in the name of Jesus. We ask today, O oh God, for a divine encounter with you today, O oh God. We ask today, Father God, that you will begin to move in our lives, Father God, that you will begin to rearrange, that you will begin to root up, that you will begin to pluck up and dig up, Father God, everything that is in our lives, O oh God, that is not of you, Father God. We ask today, Father God, that you begin to cover us, O oh God, from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, Father God. May, may everything that our feet touch, Father God, be us, be um, unto us today, Father God, for um, 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 be our um, 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 may we have dominion over everything that we step on today, Father God. We ask today, Father God, that you continue to protect us, guide us, and lead us, O oh God, into everything that we say, everything that we do. Father, we bring our children before you, O oh God. We plead the blood of Jesus over them now in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask today, O oh God, that as they go to school, O oh God, that as and in their going and in their coming out, Father God, we ask that you protect them. We place a fiery hedge of protection around our children today, Father God, wherever they find themselves, O oh God, in the classrooms, in the uh, our playgrounds, Father God, we ask that you will cover them, O oh God. Every Father demonic force that is speaking to our children, we shut it down now in the name of Jesus. Father God, every spirit, every entity, Father God, that seek, Father God, to whisper into their air, Father God, to whisper negativity unto them, Father God, we shut it down and we cancel it now in the name of Jesus. We say today, Father God, let your will be done in our children's life, O oh God. We call them prosperous, O oh God. We call them successful, O oh God. God. We call them the head and not the tail, Father. We say, oh God, that our children are the lenders and not the borrowers, oh God. We say today, Father God, that our children are not the tail, oh God, that they are head, that they are leaders, Father God. Wherever they go, Father God, even in the schools, oh God, wherever they go, Father God, they will not be followers, but they will be leaders, oh God. So, Father God, we ask, oh God, that you continue to protect them. We ask, oh God, that you send your ministering angels, Father God, with each and every one of our children, oh God, and even the viewers that are watching, oh God, we ask today, oh God, that you begin to walk with their children, oh God, that you send ministering angels to guide their children, oh God. We ask, oh God, that you begin to, even in their sleep, that you send your ministering angels, oh God, to begin to minister into their ears, oh God, minister into their spirits, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I come against every evil dream, oh God. I come against every tactic of the enemy, oh God, every plan of the enemy to enter their dreams, oh God. I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. I cancel every nightmare right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I cancel, Father God, everything that is speaking into our children's lives, even through televisions, even through their dreams. Father God, I shut it down now in the name of Jesus. Father, I come against prayer pressure right now in the name of Jesus. I come against teenage pregnancy now in the name of Jesus. Every plan of the enemy to destroy our children, oh God. Every plan of the enemy to destroy our male seed, Father God. Every plan of the enemy to destroy our females, oh God. We cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. We say today that our boys are kings, oh God. We say today that our females are queens, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we glorify you. We magnify you, oh God. And we say, oh God, begin to move in our homes, oh God. Begin to move in our households, oh God. We ask today, oh God, that you will put the right, the, right, the priests in their rightly positions, oh God. We ask today, oh God, that you cover the men, oh God. Wherever they are, Father God. We call them out of the bar room right now in the name of Jesus. We call them out of the crack rooms right now in the name of Jesus. We call them out of the gambling houses now in the name of Jesus. We call them out of the number houses now in the name of Jesus. We call them out of the gangs now in the name of Jesus. And we say, oh God, begin to turn around in their lives, oh God. Begin to move in the lives of the males, oh God. Father,
Father, every plan, every agenda of the enemy to destroy our men, oh God. We cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. And we say, oh God, begin to move in their lives, oh God. We ask, oh God, that you will not only send your ministering angels, oh God, that you will begin to send your angels of war, oh God, to war on behalf of the men, oh God. Begin to fight off the spirit of death, oh God. Begin to fight off the spirit of poverty, oh God. Begin to fight off the spirit of infirmity, oh God. The spirit of lack, oh God, and set back, Father God. We cancel every plan of the enemy right now. Every voice that is speaking to our men that are saying, oh God, that they are not good, that they are not worth anything. Father, we cancel it now in the name of Jesus. We call them our priests now in the name of Jesus. We call them, Father God, our kings now in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we call them out of every negative situation. We call them out of the gangs now in the name of Jesus. For every one, every male, oh God, that has a plan, oh God, to rob, Father God, to kill, to steal, and to destroy, Father God. We cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Every demonic attack, Father God, we cancel it against our men now in the name of Jesus. And we say, oh God, begin to move, oh God, in this nation like never yet before, oh God. I call every man, oh God, from the east to the west to the north to the south of this island, oh God. I call every man, oh God, to every four corners of this nation, oh God, in the Bahamas, oh God, wherever they are, oh God, I pray, oh God, that you begin to move in their lives, oh God, like never yet before, oh God. Father, we call them, oh God, purify them, oh God, wash them and cleanse them, oh God, and place them back in their rightful positions in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, oh God, for everyone that is here, oh God, I pray, oh God, that you will cover them, oh God, that you will protect them, oh God. I believe the blood of Jesus over them now and their families, oh God. I plead the blood of Jesus over them right now, Father God. Every plan of the enemy, oh God, every tactic, every plot, every scheme of the enemy, oh God, to keep to, to, to detour them, oh God, to, to detour them from their purpose, oh God. We cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Father, every spirit that has been sent against them, oh God, I cancel it now in the name of Jesus, Father God. Every spirit of infirmity that has been sent towards their body, I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Father, every spirit of witchcraft that has been sent against them. I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Father, every negative word that has been spoken against them, Father God. Uh, Father, every negative word that is in the atmosphere, Father God, that is working over their lives, oh God. I pull it out of the atmosphere right now in the name of Jesus. And I say today, oh God, that the atmosphere around them, oh God, will begin to line up right now in the name of Jesus. I call the atmosphere, oh God, to align right now in the name of Jesus. Everything that the enemy has stolen, oh God. Everything that the enemy has stolen from them, oh God. We cancel every plan of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. You said in your word, oh God, that if the enemy be caught, he should return sevenfold that which he has stolen, oh God. And so we say today, oh God, that we recognize who the enemy is, oh God. We recognize the serpent. We recognize the thief, O oh God. We recognize that he is Lucifer, O oh God. And so today, Father God, we demand right now that we be returned everything that was stolen sevenfold in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the glory and we give you the honor. Not because of what you have done, but for what you are, are, are about to do, Father God. We praise you in advance. We glorify you in advance, O oh God, for everything that you are protecting us from, for everything that you are shielding us from, O oh God, everything that we don't even know about oh god the things that you protect us from each day that we don't even know about father we just want to say thank you we just want to say thank you oh god we just want to glorify you oh god for what you are about to do oh god father god i cancel every plan of the enemy oh god to cause encouragement right now discouragement right now father god i cancel it right now in the name of jesus every spirit of discouragement every spirit of depression oh god every spirit of oppression father god over your people i cancel it right now in the name of jesus Father, every spirit of manipulation and witchcraft, oh God, I pull it out of the atmosphere right now in the name of Jesus. And I say today, Father God, begin to move in the lives of your people, oh God. Begin to move in their um, bodies, oh God. Begin to move in their homes, oh God. Begin to move in their finances, oh God. Begin to move in their businesses, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, let your will be done in their lives today, oh God. Let no, uh, no other agenda stand in their lives today, oh God. But let your will be done today in 
in the name of Jesus. Father, we magnify you. We glorify you. We give you all of the honor. We give you all of the praise in the name of Jesus. Father, everything that has been stolen from your people, oh God, every idea that has been stolen from your people, oh God, every plan that has been stolen from your people, oh God, every finance um, that came into their hand that was stolen, oh God, from the enemy, oh God, we demand that it be returned now in the name of Jesus. Father God, oh God, we come against every sea serpent spirit now in the name of Jesus. We come against every marine spirit now in the name of Jesus. Father, we go now into the camp of the enemy right now and we pull up, root up, and dig up, oh God. Everything, Father God, that belongs to us, oh God, we shatter the plans of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we take back everything, Father God, that does not belong to the enemy. We take back everything that belongs to us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we dismantle every altar, Father God, that has been speaking to our lives right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I break every generational curse now in the name of Jesus. Father God, every generational curse that has been speaking to our destiny, oh God, I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. I cancel it now in the spiritual realm. Every ancestral curse, oh God, I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. And I say, oh God, that everything, Father God, every yoke that is around our necks, oh God, every chain that is around our neck, oh God, every chain that is around our feet, oh God, every shackle, oh God, I break it now in the name of Jesus. I loose it now in the name of Jesus. You said in your word, oh God, that everything that we bind on earth, Father God, shall be bind in heaven, oh God, and everything that we loose on earth shall be loose in heaven, oh God. So now, Father God, I loose a house of angelic angels right now to go and to fight on our behalf, oh God. Every enemy, Father God, every demonic spirit, oh God, every spirit that rise up against us, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray, oh God, that you will send your angels, oh God, send your warring angels, oh God, to fight on our behalf now in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor, for we know today, oh God, that we are victorious in the name of Jesus. We know today, oh God, that you are about to move in our lives like never yet before. We know today, oh God, that today is the beginning of the best days of our lives now in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we want to magnify you. We want to glorify you, oh God, for what you have done and what you are about to do, Father God. We lift you up, oh God. We praise your holy name, oh God, for you are great and there is no one else like you, Father God. We magnify your holy name in the name of Jesus. Father, we praise you. We glorify you, oh God, for everything that you have done and everything that you are about to do. Father, every child that is over here today, oh God, I pray that you will cover them, Father God. From this point on, Father God, every dream that is scaring them, Father God, Every demon, Father God, that is going into their dreams and scaring them, Father God, I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit, Father God, that is causing these children to not be able to sleep at night, Father, I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. Father, I every spirit, Father God, that is tormenting them at night, Father God, I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. I send fire of the Holy Ghost right now to every camp of any enemy, Father God, that is working against our children, Father God, especially our male children father god every spirit of torment father god father i send the fire of god to eradicate them now in the name of jesus i i cut off their heads now in the name of jesus i sever the heads of every demonic force i sever the head of every spirit father god that is tormenting these children in their dreams oh god in the name of jesus father i give you the praise i give you the glory and i give you the honor from this night on father god i ask for peaceful rest oh god with these children father god in the name of jesus Jesus. And now, God, I plead the blood of Jesus over our children. I plead the blood of Jesus over our children. I plead the blood of Jesus over our children now in the name of Jesus. Father, we praise you. We magnify you. We thank you for what you are about to do in this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we magnify you. We